Hey everybody, so I was supposed to make this a little while ago, but I was a bit delayed because I had so many things to upload. But um, the weapon tuning changes happened on Halo 5, and I really wanted to just break them down and see whether they actually made some changes because I knew the DMR and the Carbine, they both sucked um, compared to their launch counterparts. So I jumped into Octagon, I played a couple games with it, and there's a couple other guns that got tweaked a little bit, so I'll talk about them, but let's get into it and see what they actually did. So the first weapon that they have is the battle rifle. Um, they only, only changed the recoil on three variants, the long shot, sentinel, and cog scope attachments. And I think you're only going to use them for, not free for all, uh, warzone firefight. So I don't see how that's applicable to anyone at all. So let's just move straight on to the carbine. I played the, with the carbine in custom games and it's definitely better. It's definitely more accurate and at long ranges it's awesome now. Um, I've seen in the Halo 3 throw rack playlist, people have actually been picking it up on Snowbound, and it actually rips faces when you um, consider how inconsistent the battle rifle is across long ranges now, so that's really good. In a competitive setting, this is really good because that means the carbine at long ranges will outplay the Magnum, but then up close, the Magnum's still going to outplay the carbine. I mean, when you throw the DMR into the mix and the BR into the mix, which I'm going to touch on in a second, um, it seems like they all have their niche users. And it seems like I can see what 343 is going for with this. And I still think the pistol is going to dominate everything because people just aren't going to go out of their way to pick up these weapons because they're not good enough to warrant picking them up in certain situations. But I can definitely see what they're going for and it's definitely a lot better than it was when they first proposed these um, weapon changes. Next we're looking at the DMR and oh my god, this thing is a beast now. Like Originally it was good. I reckon it was on par with the battle rifle. They're about the exact same. Then with the weapon tuning changes, the initial ones, they absolutely butchered it, it was terrible, and no one picked it up, it was virtually unused. So with this update, I'm really happy to see that they've actually buffed it to the extent where I can actually use it up close now, and I can use it further away, and it's actually viable. So the changes they wanted to do were increase red reticle range in hip fire, increase the stickiness of weapon at closer ranges, slight increase to base damage, still five shots to kill a fully shielded opponent, and it's still a two-shot melee, but I guess it's uh, effective if you don't get the headshot on a no-shielded enemy. You'll see in the Octagon gameplay, going on underneath this uh, little commentary, that it's really, really good. Um, it's very, very consistent. You can see I hit five shots almost every single life, even on a really good player who's strafing and trying to avoid my shots. Um, and at certain ranges, it'll definitely destroy the Magnum. It'll absolutely annihilate the BR because the BR is just shocking. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy. The DMR is fitting its role as a long range weapon. And then at closer ranges, it's still good. And at the very close range, it's not good at all. So it really fits the designated marksman rifle, like the actual abbreviation of what the gun is. And I'm really happy that they finally found a good way to implement it into the game. And it's not like an afterthought, because we always feel like, oh, the BR is the main weapon, and the DMR, since that came in and reached in four, was just like, meh. But it's really in the game now, and it's really its own gun, which is really good. Lastly, we're going to talk about the Storm Rifle and the Brute Plasma Rifle. We're going to talk about them very, very quickly, and just summarize what I thought they're going to be like, because there's very minimal changes to both of them. Um, they said that now the Storm Rifle uses more ammo, so I guess you just can't get as many kills with it than you could before. Um, and when it overcharges, it overcharges for a longer duration. If you're a really good player and you burst fire it, you're not going to notice any difference. You're just going to get less kills per time you pick it up. But it's still an awesome weapon and it hasn't been nerfed really. It's probably like 95% of what it used to be. So n minimal changes. And the Brute Plasma Rifle, uh, they said it was too effective at stripping shields. So I guess they've... They have, they have a slight decrease of spread in hip fire, So you have to actually aim with it. So if you just aim it and you hit all your shots and you maybe get a couple headshots, you're not even going to notice the difference of tearing through the shields. Because, say you get them down to 5% 5 of shields of when you would used to get them down to zero, that one BR shot is going to kill them anyway, or that one Magnum shot is going to just kill them anyway. It's such a minimal change that in, a really, in the hands of a good player, you're not going to notice any difference at all. I guess with like a gold or platinum tier player, you're going to notice a little bit because you're not going to hit all of your shots when you're using the gun itself. But 
as you become better and as you get used to the changes, you're gonna be like, oh, this is basically the same thing as it was before. That's gonna do it, guys. They're my uh, thoughts and my feedback on the new weapon tuning changes. Love to hear what you guys think of it um, and whether you think the battle rifle is good as it is now, because I know that it is it's okay compared to what it used to be when it got patched, but it's still not amazing and compared to other weapons, they absolutely destroy it at medium to long range, and that's what it's used for. Let me know if you think the DMR is good now, because that was also really, really bad. Uh, I think I have two more videos out. Yes, I have two inconceivables that I got in the Halo 3 throwback playlist and some crazy multi-kills to go along with it. So expect those videos out in the next couple days and then like a whole dump of just heaps of clips because I got to get rid of them all before some montages release. So look out for that too. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys then. Bye.